Hello stamping friends, this is Sharon Armstrong. We are going to be working on card number three in the July 2014 online stamp club. This is a very simple, easy card. I really liked this card too. Um, and it's really fun how using the same stamp set you can have different looks with all of your cards. I went ahead and stamped this part ahead of time. I've stamped my sentiment. I stamped the leaves directly onto the card. There's no layering there. Um, and I did the off stamping technique like you will see in your instructions. I stamped the base first on a scrap piece of paper, then stamped it here. And then when I went in with the second part of the stamp, it's using the same stamp pad, but has two different shades. Okay. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and attach my ribbon. You're going to have two pieces of ribbon in your kit that are about the same length. I want to turn the cardstock over, turn my base over, and put some snail on, getting it ready to attach to the black base. I will take my ribbon and put it about right here. And you see that I didn't use the ribbon to wrap it all the way around. That's really a waste. Um, you're not going to be able to see that. But I also don't want my card to lift up right here. So I'm going to add some snail on my ribbon so that it won't lift up. All right. So I want to add this here. Okay. And my card base and again if you don't have a simply scored you can just kind of give that a crease use a bone folder and crease the card I want to go ahead and attach my card base card to the card base my card layer to the card base hmm okay am I getting tired or what all right so I'm going to center that right there I want to take my other piece of ribbon and I'm just going to do what I call a fake knot or a fake bow if you would. Go ahead and tie that on. You're going to love this ribbon. It's absolutely elegant. All right, so it does have a little bit of raveled edges. I want to take my scissors. I don't, Stampin' Up! doesn't call these ribbon scissors. I do. I attach ribbon to them and that's what I use these scissors for. Go ahead and trim that up so that I have nice clean edges. And now I'm ready to assemble. My larger flower, I want to use some snail. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that there. On the instructions, you were told to stamp this flower four times. You're going to need to use scissors to cut these out. And I don't think you can see it really good on the video. However, my, stamp, my scissor cutting is not perfect. But you're going to find when you lay the card all together, you can't tell. So don't stress about that. All right, so I have my dimensionals on the back of my layers. And I'm going to go ahead and start layering my flower. And I'm actually going to offset it from what's underneath. If I laid it directly on, then you could see exactly. Um, and it kind of loses the effect a little bit. Now here's my next piece. And I'm going to turn that like that. And then here's my little third piece, and I want to offset that. So now I have this really cute card that has lots of depth to it. And again, you can't tell that my scissor cutting isn't as perfect as using a framelit. All right, that card is done. Pretty cute. Stay tuned for card number four.